welcome <laughs> to Come Thou Fount Land. This is a land of resources around this amazing hymn. My name's Shane. I'm your host. Uh, so glad you, you popped in today. Uh, please, please, whatever instrument you play, check out the devotional. It's going to be awesome. And you can read it, you can listen to it, you can get the app, listen to one a day. Uh, just take 15 minutes and, uh, and just be blessed. Um, our favorite writers typically, every once in a while I'll write one, but most of the time we get people who are really good at it um, to, to pour their heart into that. So check that out. Check out the charts. If, you, if you're a vocalist, we have harmonies down here. And, uh, and here we go. So this is, the, this is the second time we've done this song. Um, and uh, we're, we uh, are putting it on a hymns record. If you're watching this, it may already be on the hymns record. And uh, we love this song. And uh, we wanted to kind of, kind of make it a little bit more sort of organic-y. We brought in a cello, and uh, you know, we kind of tuned, toned down the groove a little bit. And um, changed up the strumming a little bit, and just kind of from the last version that we did. And so you have the option of both versions, and so you can check them both out. It might be nice to just have uh, the option of having parts over there and parts over here, different players, stuff like that. So it could be interesting. So if you're a, an acoustic player, I'm going to jump in um, to the chords I played. And uh, my sing voice is a little hurt right now, so uh, bear with me. But I'm going to do the best I can, okay? in the key of D, and uh, I'm pr pretty sure there's like a, you know, that kind of runs the gamut of chords, uh, you know, in C shapes. Uh, playing C shapes, capo on the second fret, that puts you in the key of D. Um, and so I think we have like a, so I know we have, there's your one chord, right? If you're, in the, if you're playing with C shapes, the C's gonna be your one chord. And then your two chord is gonna be a D minor gonna see that guy in there I think it's in the bridge and then you're gonna have your one over three so that's a C chord with the with a three in the bass like C, you'd see it as like a C over E and that um, that would be the, the three note the E would be the three note um, it's not an E note here because we're capo but you know what I'm saying okay and then the four chord would be your F chord see me play it a lot like that I'm 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 playing this four note with my thumb. I've got squatty little hands, and so you can do it if you just give it some time. You don't have to, you can mute that top string. And uh, it's also a really nice chord. Cool, there's my four chord. And then a five chord, typically in C shapes, I'm playing it just like that. So I'm muting that A string. Just a nice clean. Um, you can suspend it really easily. Uh, you can do little tricks, little hammer-on tricks and all that. So there's your five chord, your six chord. It's just your run-of-the-mill A minor chord. And then your seven would be like a one over seven. Pretty sure uh, there's a walk-downs in this song. So that one over seven chord. It's all kinds of different ways to play it. You know, sometimes when I'm playing, I'm not strumming down the whole... I'm stopping at the B string. Kind of a thing. So there's different ways you can play that seven, that 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 one over seven chord. Obviously you can um, play it a couple different ways, but there we go. Seven and then it brings you back to Do. One. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Sometimes you'll see me play it this way, putting that five in there just to kind of beef, beef it up. Cool? And then um, you'll see this little hooky thing down here. Let me just slow that down for you. Um, and I think maybe the easiest way to do that little guy uh, would just simply be that, if you're just starting. I'm going A string, B string, E string. And then I'm pulling off my pinky there. And then I'm going to go to a G chord. Just moving this finger up. Yep, sorry. Same kind of deal. It's got a little bit of a stretch. 
and then I'm going to go an F chord. And then that's just like, I'm kind of dropping the lead line there. And then I go, na 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 na. Na 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 na. So all together. Make sense? That's kind of like the simplified version one more time. And you could go. Cool? And then once I get into the uh, verse, I kind of, at first, I'm kind of chunky. Daily I'm come. Strange to be, let thy goodness like a. Uh, uh. So I'm kind of like just sitting in the groove a little bit, and I'm kind of I'm palm muting with my right hand. I'm also kind of doing it with my left hand. If I went, that would be without the right hand, but with the right hand kind of just setting it up out there just like a dampener on a piano. And then, and once I get to this prone to wander part, which is the favorite part, it's kind of who I am, uh, I feel like uh, I let the palm mute come off. Prone to wander. see me do this a lot too. Just pick a couple strings, four, five, and then hook. And that stuff is just really, I'm just picking two strings and I'm just changing, I'm changing a downstroke when the chords change. Um, Right? And so we'll have some picking exercises for you if you need to jump into those. Um, and then once we get to, um, here's my heart, Lord, take and seal, seal it for the courts above. And that last word shoots you into the bridge. Above all else, I adore two minor, one over three, four. And then above, walk up seven, one, to my four chord. To my four chord here. <laughs> two, six, and five. And then you'll see me kind of do this little nanny thing. Uh, here coming up, that kind of deal. Four, or sorry, two minor, one over three, four. And I'm just literally pulling the chord on and off. But it sounds cool in the track. Cool? Little trick there you can do. And then um, at the end of the bridge part, it kind of gets real buildy where we're just kind of pounding away on these chords. four over six chord, highest praise. I love this chord. So I'm muting the top string. So the lowest string would be the A. And I guess you don't have to put that finger down, but it's, it's really close to a C chord. I'm just pulling that finger one string down, my ring finger. Highest praise, seven, a four, every So this is a cool song because even if you just have an acoustic and that's it, you really can feel like you can have sections and hooks and dynamic um, instead of just plowing through a song with chords. And so this is a really cool 
a really easy hook to do with an acoustic guitar. With just a little bit of practice, just pulling that, pulling that pinky off and you got it. Cool? Hope this blesses you. Um, jump into this song. Spend some time in God's Word today. We're praying for you. Our team, I'm looking at them right now. Um, they're here serving you guys every day, and, we, and, and they love it. And uh, so we love you guys. Tell us how we can serve you better. Shane B. out.